dog. Uh. Hello and welcome to my 50 subscriber special gaming setup that's behind you. It's behind you. You can see it, you can see my uh, my wardrobes. You don't want to look in them, pretty disgusting. But yes, this is my 50 subscriber special. I'm so grateful for every single subscriber that you know you guys have subscribed to me. Um, I think gaming, gaining 50 subscribers in about um, about three months, just over three months. I think that's fairly impressive. Um, I know that some of you are not really active and some of you are the same people. <laughs> But, um, you know, 50 subscribers are good, I don't know, it's a good, like, milestone to start off, really. And, uh, you know, it's just kind of weird for me because I've never really done a, I guess it's a vlog, game set a vlog, and I've never really done one before. It's kind of weird. So, uh, yeah, so this is a gaming setup, and, um, yep, yeah, I'll show you it now. I'll be, sh uh, I'll be showing you every little piece of kit, basically, like, every little gadget I have. Right, okay, to start with, I've had to do this twice now because the first time the uh, audio wasn't amazing um, and my cat hand was really shaky, so I put it on the bipod, so it's going to be much better now. So first off, I'm going to show you what video games I have, really. Video games, sounds pretty uh, old. But yeah, these are what games I have. I have some PlayStation 2 games, and I don't actually own the PlayStation 2, but I just, I'm just going to keep them forever, and then they're going to be worth billions of pounds when they're older. Okay, so I have the first ever Max Payne, Halo 2, Doom 3, Resident Evil 4, terrible game, Grand Theft Auto 3, the first ever 3D game of the Grand Theft Auto series, um, Command & Conquer, uh, what's that, Renegade, that was the first ever first person shooter of Command & Conquer, wasn't really the best one ever, Just Cause 2, Battlefield 3, did say that game was terrible, but I'm kind of getting back into it now, um, Driver San Francisco, really do love that game, really nice game, um, Enter the Matrix, uh, not actually, not actually mine, that's my dad's, Crisis 2, really good game. Medal of Honor, terrible game. Dead Space 2, uh, yeah. Quake 4, um, that's, that was kind of a badass game as well. And Call of Duty, World at War, really nice game as well. But yes, those are what games I have. Next, I will be showing you what's actually in my computer. So, first off, I have an Asus M5A97 Pro motherboard, which has the auto tuning and auto overclocking stuff on it. So, if you really want to. Nice motherboard that does all the work for you, then that's definitely it. I paid about £85-£86 for that of Amazon and that was about uh, six months ago, well about four months ago, so yeah, um, that was uh, the, the motherboard I have. Next I have a, oh god you can't really see that, one sec, uh, sorry this is shaky, an Asus M, oh god what am I seeing, Asus GTX NVIDIA 560 Ti um, <laughs> Direct CUI 2 thingy cooling this is a really nice graphics card um, really does the job well um, really nice quality in all games you can play it all in ultra and everything my processor is an FX8120 um, black edition overclocked 3.9 um, with, the, with the turbo core enabled and all that jazz really nice renders really quick faster than real time that's a Skype message sorry um, Okay, next I have a Corsair Vengeance, 8GB, 2 stick RAM in my computer. Uh, I didn't really think I needed any more than 8GB because I'm not doing anything that, um, I don't know, demanding if you like, apart from just rendering videos. That's a um, Guild Wars 2 PC Gamer Special Edition um, magazine, really nice, it's got like a cardboard case and everything, I just thought it deserves to be displayed on my wall. <laughs> um, what else? Um, I have a Sony Xperia U. Phone, and I'll show you that a bit later. I have an Arctic Cooler 13, I think it is, or something like that. Again, just a cheap cooler that I bought for Amazon about a week ago for £22. Does the job well. Uh, keeps the CPU nice and cool. And uh, yeah, that's about it. And uh, I'll actually show you what's actually going down now. Okay. Okay, so first off, I have the screen. I don't actually know anything about this screen. Hang on. Let me just get something up a bit more appropriate. There we go. 50 subscribers. Okay, um, now that's a, it's actually a TV, it's not a monitor. I don't actually know what make it is. It's, a, it's by DGM, don't really know who they are. It's LED backlit and everything. Um, oh god, it was actually bought for me for Christmas. I'm not really, I don't really get bought gadgets if you like for Christmas. It's sort of mainly just uh, other sort of presents, but this is the first ever really 
technical thing I got and it's a really nice TV, does the job well and uh, I probably won't be changing that at all soon unless we go 3D, that would be pretty cool I guess <laughs> but yes, okay and next I have my oh god, a bit wonky, sorry about that my Microsoft X6 Sidewinder gaming keyboard I bought for about £40, £45 of Amazon really nice keyboard, I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever no driver issue or anything really nice keyboard as you can see it's like LED backlit and stuff um, this is the volume dial, it's uh, really nice software and that dial kind of like makes it brighter and darker really nice uh, touch to it I guess uh, what else can I show you? Okay, next I guess I'll show you my uh, headset. Okay, let me just zoom out a little bit more. Um, it's kind of wrapped around you. Okay, here you go. Right, this is a Asus Vulcan ANC anti-noise cancellation headset that I bought off Amazon for about, oh god, 75, 80 pounds. Um, it's um, with the Republic of Gamers. Um, really nice headset, like every bit of foam on it is memory foam, so I'll just keep my phone there for a second. Um, I haven't had any pain whatsoever. I've done about 8 hours of gaming on this once, recording Borderlands 2, which is again an amazing game. And uh, there was no pain whatsoever. As you can see, it's memory foam, really nice touch. Every bit of foam is really nice. It's, uh, it is actually, I think it's 5.1, it might not be surround sound at all. It definitely does act like it, it definitely acts like a surround sound headset. I don't know whether for sure it is surround sound. Um, it's just got a nice, oh god, I'm looking through the camera to do this. It's got a nice detachable um, mic um, that you can just plug into your computer if you really wanted to. But again, this is just a really nice quality headset. I would highly recommend it. Just And again, it suits the theme of my red, black you know, gaming setup. That's another reason why I bought it really. Um, I mean, yeah, they're just really nice headset. Okay, next I will show you my mouse. Now this is a top of the range gaming mouse, um, as you can see. What's that on there? Oops. Okay, yes, anyway, this is just a really crappy Logitech mouse so that I got from Asda, I think, um, for about £5. Really, really isn't anything special. Uh, yeah, just really, really cheap mouse. More than likely, I don't know really because I don't really feel that I need to have a gaming mouse to do well at stuff. It's just, uh, I, just I guess I'll just buy it for looks really, but I don't really want to spend about 60 quid on a mouse to be quite honest with you. It's kind of a waste of uh, money and time. But yes, next I'll actually show you my computer. Now, uh, if I can get this in the full one. No, okay, you can kind of just see it. Right, so this is a CIT Diablo. I don't know, some crappy case that I bought off Amazon. That was spare of the moment because I just had enough money to buy my whole computer. Um, so far I've actually spent about 850, nearly 900 pounds on this computer. You may be thinking, wow, that's quite a lot of money. That's practically a grand um, for a computer. Um, yeah, it is, but the thing is though, I want to do the sort of, not gaming, well I do, but I want to do um, gaming programming and just stuff like this for a career so I thought I, I'm gonna save up and I'm gonna buy myself a really nice computer that I can do practice stuff on I say that I haven't done anything to do with programming or anything I've just been playing games on it really nicely <laughs> so yes anyway um, I will show you the inside of my case and I'll be back with you in this. actually don't mind I'll just take this side fine okay so as you can see those are the LED fans I will highly not recommend them they are absolutely pants they're terrible Okay, so first off we have the um, Arctic Cooler Freezer Fan Thingamajiggy Focus, I'm going to have to shine a light on this. Right, okay, so I'm back and this is the uh, Arctic Freezer um, something something something. It's just a cheap cooler that I bought from Amazon for about £25, £22 I think it was. Really cheap cooler, it just does, it just does the job really. And uh, I'm trying to shine a light on it so you can see it really nicely. Um, I have a Corsair CX600. Um, 600 watt um, uh, power pack just um, again just it just does the work it is a builder edition or something like that anyway that card that you can just see there that is the GTX 560 Ti not really the best example it does look nice in the case and really it's not a really thin card as you can see there it's really quite thick and underneath that you have a Asus Exonar DG 5.1 surround sound card um, that's a really nice card, it's got built in and everything, it does the job really nicely. And uh, 
but yeah, so pretty much that's my PC. I have a two terabyte hard drive, a really bog standard one. It's you say that like all oh, two terabyte, oh that's a lot of memory. But if you just get a cheap two terabyte, then it just chucks all in and it fills up really quickly. So you might as well just get a one terabyte, really good one. Um, so yeah, and I have a just again just a standard Sony reader. I'm probably not going to get a Blu-ray. I don't really see too much point in it really. I don't really watch films on it. So. Uh, yeah, uh, my cable management, as you can probably see, kind of isn't the best. So uh, yeah, you don't really don't need to tell me about that. Um, um, so yeah, that's my computer. Um, here, I have a Sony Xperia U phone. Uh, you can, if you can see that, really nice phone. You can see it's like got a really nice light at the bottom there. Um, just really nice effect, and the phone is just really high performing, really nice for playing games and everything really. So yeah, I'd highly recommend one of them as well. But yes, all together, and um, this is my gaming setup really. Um, let me just move this back a bit. But yeah, that's my gaming setup. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for 50 subscribers, it really does mean a lot to me. And again, I think it's grown quite quickly, from like two and a half months, maybe three months. And I've gained 50 subs that quickly. Um, but yeah. Um, shout out to the Gaming Overwatch for helping me a lot with the, my subscribers as well. They've been really help, uh, helpful. And uh, yeah, the channel will be in the description. And uh, yeah, apart from that, thank you for watching. Um, r again, really do appreciate the whole 50 subscriber thing. And um, I've got a, I think I've got a fairly good thing for 100 subscribers that you might enjoy. So, uh, you know, get subscribing. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching. As always, have a good day.